three awesome websites for digital artists. Welcome back to Tets by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again, taking a look at what I just said. So this this time we're we're featuring color websites. So all three of these are have to do with color or picking color in some specific sort of way. So the first one that I have for you is a website called Canva.com. Very very cool place. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom here, you can see that you have under resources color wheel, and then it'll take you here. Um, and you can go ahead and change around this color wheel and get different colors. You have the ability to change uh, from complementary to monochromatic and to other different ones, which is very, very cool. Um, I love complementary, complementary colors uh, personally. I think this is a very, very cool way to easily get complementary colors. You can see down here, you can easily just copy and paste this value by clicking on it. You can even export the palette to a PDF if you really want to, which I don't really know why you would, but hey, you can if you want to. Very, very cool website. The second one I have for you is colors.co, which is colors with C, which is like coolers. So I guess it'd be coolers. Coolers.co, which is probably my favorite one. This is very, very cool. So if we hit start generator here, you can see that it'll load up the generator and you can now go ahead and take a look at custom randomized uh, palettes that this website will create for you, which is a very, very cool way to get inspired by different colors and a very cool way to build a palette yourself. So if you want to if you want to uh, generate new palette, go ahead and hit the space bar and you can see that it'll instantly generate a new palette every time you click it. And these colors are all gorgeous. They all have the hex value down at the bottom and they have a specific color that coordinates with the actual color, like a name for it. So this is mint green, emerald, zomp, eggplant, and honeydew. This is so cool. This is like one of the coolest websites I think I've ever had come across in the world. And you can also click in between the palette colors to add a color in between if you really want to. Add a color between these, add a color between these to kind of smoothen them out, the transitions between them, which is also very cool. So now you have like in between colors, like you've kind of tweened the colors. So now we have hookers green, we have tea green, we have medium sea green, which is just so cool. Um, like I said, if you want to move these around, you can click and drag this little button here. And you can also go ahead and it's a little favorite button, but you do have to create an account to add things to your favorites, of course. If you want to go ahead and export the palette all together, you can go ahead and just go up to uh, export and obviously export the entire palette. Or what's also very cool is you can go up to create palette from photo and you can open up a photo image on your computer, which is so cool, and then use that uh, image to create your own custom palette. It's so cool. I don't know what to say to you. I love this. This is, the, I don't know how I found this, but I absolutely love this. This is one of the coolest things. And the, the GUI for it's beautiful. It's very nice. If you want to delete colors, just hit the little remove color button. And it's just gorgeous. Just uh, space. Just hold down space. Get a random color. Look at these beautiful colors. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And the last one that I have for you, of course, is uh, just literally typing into Google search color picker and you it will have this amazing amazing color picker that google has for you for free just here in google search literally just right here you can go ahead and move this around this is probably one of my favorite color pickers and it actually is just literally a color picker on google web search so that i, I mean what can i say uh, gim photoshop crito whatever you know it doesn't matter like literally it, this is a really good color picker. Like, I, it doesn't even matter to me. It's literally just a Google search engine color picker. One of my favorite ones because it's so simple. It's so straightforward. Of course, you can go ahead and just uh, click this little button right here, which will copy the hex value. Move this around. Lightness, darkness, saturation, hue, of course. Gorgeous. Those are the three websites that I have for you about color to help you as a graphic artist, a digital artist. I will see you in the next tutorial, next showcase video. I will see you then. Hope to see you then. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe. As always, help support the channel. I really, really would appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.